Club Express, text messaging. The optional Club Express text messaging module allows authorized administrators and coordinators to send text messages to member and non-member mobile phones. Clubs and organizations can send messages such as reminders to renew a membership or register for an event, notifications about new content on the website, such as the next issue of the club's magazine, event update and cancellation notices, perhaps due to weather, and other reminders. This is an opt-in system. Members and non-members must give the club or association explicit permission to send them text messages because the sending of text messages is governed by the Telephone Consumer Protection Act. The text messaging module uses many of the same features that we provide for blast emailings, including the ability to build and save complex distribution lists, for example, by member type, status, interest group, committee, chapter, mailing list category, etc. However, instead of sending a notice to an email address on file, the message is sent to the user's mobile phone and only when they have agreed to receive such messages. We're already logged onto one of our demo sites as an administrator. As mentioned, members and non-members must opt in to receive text messages. If text messaging has been enabled, once logged in, members can change their preference by visiting their member profile, go to their contact information, and in the Other Contacts section, check or uncheck the field under their mobile phone number. If your site is configured where members join through their business or professional lives, this choice is located in the Member Information section of their profile. Note that administrators cannot check this box on behalf of members or non-members. Non-members can only make this selection when they initially fill out their information. Now let's go to the Control Panel's Communications tab and select Text Messaging. If this feature has not been enabled yet, a screen is presented where you can read the terms of use, and there's also a link to a list of messaging rates by country. Note that the messaging rates apply only to messages that are successfully delivered, and your organization will also be billed $2 per month for the use of a toll-free number, whether or not you send text messages. Each club or association gets assigned its own number so that messages always come from the same number and people can add it to their contact list with the club or association name. Also note that toll-free numbers are not used outside the U.S. and Canada. When you check the box and save the form, there'll be a small delay while your account is configured for text messaging and assigned a messaging phone number. At this time, you may modify text messaging options, categories, and create messages However, you will not be able to actually send messages until the feature has been completely enabled by Club Express administrators. In the meantime, you might see a warning message letting you know that we are working on assigning your club or association a number. When text messaging has been enabled, the text messaging manager screen is displayed. Administrators can send a quick notify request to invite users to set their preference and receive text messages or to opt out. Clicking Notify Members sends members an email with a link to the text messaging preferences page. After logging in, they will see one of two screens. If a member has not opted in, they see a screen where they decide if they want to receive text messages from the club or not. If the member has opted in previously, they have a choice of continuing to receive text messages or to opt out of receiving them. Before we look at the rest of the screen and the configuration options that have already been set for this club, let's create a new text message by clicking on the Add Message button. Next, click the Edit Distribution List button to specify a distribution list to receive the text message. You can either create a new list or pick from a previously saved distribution list. Managing the previously saved distribution lists, for example, adding or removing options from the list, is done via the Text Messaging Manager and the Emailings Manager pages. When using a saved distribution list is selected, click the drop-down to select a previously saved distribution list. Let's click Create a New List or Select a Recipient Without Using a List. Start by clicking the To drop-down to select one of the available options. The options in the To field are the same as those used for creating emailings and save distribution lists. Most of the items are obvious, and you can learn more about the options by clicking on the Help icon or watching the Emailing Administration video tutorial.
in some cases, when you make a selection, a panel will appear underneath to configure additional settings for that choice. Each time you make a selection from the drop-down list, click the Add button to add it to your distribution list. You can add as many options as you want, including multiple options of the same type, for example, more than one interest group or committee. If you make a mistake, you can click the Remove icon to remove an option from your list. Once your list is complete, you have the option to save it for future use without needing to recreate it each time, and you'll be prompted for a distribution list name. Click Save to save the distribution list and return to the main screen, or Cancel to return without saving. Once you have completed the distribution list, the distribution list icon changes to a green checkmark indicating that the list has been defined. The screen also shows an anticipated number of messages to be sent and the numbers for refusing, invalid, or other reasons that messages cannot be sent. Keep in mind that the actual list of numbers is not built until the text message is ready for delivery. So for messages to be sent in the future, these counts may change. Also, the system will automatically remove duplicates, for example, if the same person is in more than one interest group. Once the text message has been sent, an accurate count will be available. Now on to the contents of the text message. For this example, we'll create a text message about a possible upcoming storm and have a link to a page on the National Weather Service's website that is a forecast map of the area. Enter a title for the message. This is used only in the text messaging manager screen and is not part of the message. Then select the category from the pre-configured list of categories, in this case, weather alerts. You may also elect to send the text message immediately or on a specific date. We'll send this one immediately, and in a few moments we'll also create a reminder message to be sent the next day. If you have enabled the double length messages configuration option, you'll also see a checkbox to use a double length message. This increases the number of characters available from 139 to 285. Keep in mind that double length messages are treated as two messages and incur two message unit charges. If you want your message to contain a link, then select Click Here to Add Link to display a short link builder screen. This is useful because many links are quite long and could use up many of the limited number of message characters so creating a short link that redirects to the target item is preferred. You can link to any of the following, your home page, any of your custom pages, photo album, an upcoming event, a volunteering opportunity, a news article, a blog entry, or to an external page. Creating the short link may take several seconds, and the link itself will not appear in the draft text message. It is saved separately from the text message and is only inserted later when the message is sent by the system. Note that the standard text message has a maximum of 160 characters. 20 are used by the message prefix that we'll discuss shortly, followed by a colon. A short link uses 22 characters, so a single message with a link can contain up to 117 characters of content. If you click Save, the message will be saved without sending, and the message will remain in draft status. Click Ready for Delivery to send the text message, and the message will be queued for delivery, either immediately or on the date specified in the Send option. Or you can click Cancel to exit without saving your changes. We'll say that this message is ready for delivery. Let's look at the text messages that have already been created. The search area lets you filter a list of messages by category, date range, and by sender. You can also choose to include archived items in the list. When you click search, the result grid shows all of the appropriate items. We can see the text message we just created queued for immediate delivery. Let's also quickly create a follow-up message to be sent tomorrow morning. To do this, click on the copy text message icon. This creates a new text message in draft status with the same content as the original. Then we can edit that message, change its title to Reminder, and schedule it by supplying a date and time that we want it sent. When completed, the text message will be queued for delivery on the specified date and time. 
There is a process that runs every 15 minutes to see if there are any messages ready for delivery. Your messages will be sent the next time the process runs. For each item, you'll see the status which can be Draft created means the message has been saved but not yet flagged as ready for delivery. Draft scheduled for a date means it has been saved with a send date and time but not flagged as ready for delivery. Sent shows the date the message delivery began. Queued for immediate delivery means the message is ready for delivery and being processed by the system. Delivery scheduled for a date means the message is ready for delivery and will be sent on the specified date and time. Each row also shows the message title, who sent it, who it was sent to, and the number of message units anticipated when the messages are about to be sent, or when delivery is complete, the actual message units delivered. This also accounts for double-length messages counted as two units each. Note that the message fees are only charged for text messages that were actually delivered. After a few minutes have passed, we refresh the page, and we can see that the message that was queued for immediate delivery has already been sent. Let's look at the icons in the Maintain column. The Edit option allows you to modify messages. If the message has not yet been sent or queued for delivery, Clicking the icon opens the editor and a full set of options. If the message has been sent, this option only allows you to change the message category. The Archive option archives the text message. It is still in the system, but it is not displayed until the Include Archive Text Messages box is checked. For a message that is already archived, the option will say Unarchive, which reverses the operation. For sent messages, you can click on the View icon to see the contents of the message as it would appear on a mobile phone. It shows the message prefix as configured in Options, then the message text, followed by the shortened link. Select Results to display the results of a text message, including the number of messages not allowed. These results may be slightly delayed as the carrier will contact Club Express to report the results of each sent message. The Reports icon displays a standard report dialog with reports showing the result by status, failed delivery, and messages received, including the cost. The Share icon lets you share the text of a message on your club's social network, including Facebook and Twitter. Note that Facebook requires a link in order to post, so be sure to use the Short Link option. For text messages that have not been sent, you can use the Delete option to completely remove a message from the list. This option should be used with caution since the deleted message cannot be recovered. Now let's look at some configuration items. Note that the Configure button is not available to subgroup administrators. These options can only be changed by full administrators or module coordinators. Click Categories to see a standard Club Express category management screen. Text message categories allow you to organize and filter text messages in different ways. For example, prospective members, event registrants, or committee members. All options perform their expected functions. Note that these categories are used by both text messaging and emailings. However, edit and delete icons are only presented for a category through the tool that created it. For example, use the text messaging module to rename or delete categories created there. If your club or association has subgroups, you can create categories for use by the subgroups, allowing subgroup text messages to be organized into their own categories. You must create a category for each subgroup in order to send text messages to members or non-members of that subgroup. Select Configure Save Distribution List to create, view, and edit your saved list. Note that distribution lists can also be created and saved when you're creating a new text message or emailing. And like emailings, text messages can be sent to complex distribution lists. For example, all active members of a specified type, plus members of two specified committees, plus the following three individuals. You can also save these distribution lists for use at any time. Click the Add Distribution List button to create a new list. Select options from the To drop-down list. In some cases, a panel will appear underneath to configure the additional settings. Each time you make a selection from the drop-down list, click the Add button to add it to your distribution list.
If you make a mistake, you can click the remove icon to remove this option from your list. When you're done, specify a name for your list and click the save button or click cancel and close the dialog without saving. When back on the distribution list main screen, you can click the edit icon to modify an existing distribution list or the delete icon to remove a list. Club Express will build the list dynamically when each text message is about to be sent, so it's always up to date. And the system will automatically remove duplicates so that each recipient only receives one text message, even if he or she is in multiple parts of the distribution list. Note that distribution lists with multiple options are applied using OR conditions. That is, each option is additive to the list. For example, if you select members in a specified city and enter Chicago, and then specify members of a specified type and enter individual, you'll be sending the message to everyone in Chicago as well as everyone who's an individual member. Now back to the text messages manager. Select configure options to customize how the text messaging function behaves. On this screen, you can specify the message prefix to be used as the sender. This will default to your club's short name, but can be modified to any name under 20 characters. Standard text messages can contain up to 139 characters after the message prefix. Selecting Enable Double Length Text allows you to send text messages with a total of 285 characters after the message prefix. Note that sending double length text messages will be sent and billed as two separate text messages. You can also choose to allow event coordinators to send text messages, and there's an option to disable the text messaging functionality. Click Save to save your changes, or Cancel to return without saving. Clicking the Bad Numbers button displays a page that lists members and non-members having text message delivery problems. There are several possible causes, and you may filter the search results by each. Invalid number means the phone number is not capable of receiving text messages. It might be a landline, or it is not a reachable phone number. Permanently unavailable means the phone number has been removed from service and there is no indication of when it will become available again. Blocked is where the owner of this number has opted out. Opt-outs are typically received via text message replies with the opt-out keyword STOP as the contents. All such requests are handled by the system and automatically unchecks the Allow Text Messages box for that user so all future messages to that number will be blocked until the owner opts in. Temporary failure is a broad error code and often the carrier does not indicate a reason that the destination is temporarily unavailable, though possible reasons could be due to the handset being turned off or out of the coverage area. Note that in the case of blocked or invalid phone numbers, no text messages will be sent. Any changes you make here will be applied on the next text message that is sent. For permanently unavailable, temporarily unavailable, or invalid numbers, there are several options. You can review the phone number and make the necessary changes. You can clear temporary failures and try another message. Or you can remove the phone number on the user's profile. Note again that administrators cannot change the setting to accept text messages. The Users Report Not Allowing button displays a list of all members who have opted out of receiving text messages. Finally, let's look at sending text messages from an event. We start by clicking on Events in the Control Panel and search for the event we want. Then in the Administrative Tools for the event, click the Text Messaging icon. This displays a screen where you can add and manage text messages for this event. Like event emailings, Text messages have special two options that are related to the event, such as those people who have already registered or those who have not completed payment. So now you have seen how to enable the optional text messaging functionality, configure several of its options, and how to create and send text messages. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.